We have so much 2K23 news to get into. You already know. I don't like to waste any time. So whatever you got to do, make sure that like button is blue. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's get it right into the news. So Mike Wang, the gameplay developer, the guy that makes the biggest decisions whether 2K's gameplay makes too many whites or doesn't make enough whites and all that type of stuff, gave us some huge information today on 2K23. Dunk requirements for 2K23 since some have asked vertical requirements are new gen only so it's pretty much the exact same as last year and you have the vertical requirements as well so someone under that tweet asked him what are the heights that are considered small and he said six foot five and under so pretty much the exact same as last year but now we're about to get into some very interesting tweets from mike wang this one is huge i mean gigantic especially for people that play next gen you know what i'm talking about mike said quick drops off one foot have a higher dunk requirement this year 80 driving dunk and 60 vertical so that is amazing quick drops were way too good to be able to unlock at 65 driving dunk and i just hope that there isn't anything this year that you can get at a low driving dunk because playmaking shot creators already have enough they can have a 99 three-pointer then they've got enough ball handle to get all the playmaking badges and on top of that the quick drop glitchy dunks which are almost unblockable and make you fly to the rim which you only need silver limitless takeoff for as well so hopefully there's not another dunk that comes in its place next year that you're able to get at a very low driving dunk and that right there already adds to the game being more balance which is great that's what we all want to see playmaking shot creators got the best of every single world possible and more balance is always a good thing we don't know if that's how the game is going to be but we will see mike said dribble sig requirements are very similar to last year i still recommend putting your ball handle rating up to 86 if you want everything i then replied to that and said anything above 86 question mark always wondered why there was no reason to go past it like how driving dunk gets elite stuff at 92 which would only make sense right if you have a 92 driving dunk you get elite contact dunks why has there never been a reason to go over 86 ball control now it doesn't matter what you do i've been saying this over and over the meta is going to be a playmaking shot creator or if they change the name it's still going to be a high dribbling high shooting attribute and badge build for the meta for threes and competitive you know fives pro and stuff so adding more variety to the game is not a bad thing it's not like oh now everyone's gonna make a playmaking shot creator if they do that bro people do that anyway you know what i'm saying one of the most made builds in the last five years of 2k and even has its pretty much own community at this point is a pure point forward or something very close to that with the only yellow pie chart so you only get hall of fame playmaking well there's actually basically no reason to make that build at all you can make a playmaking shot creator near the same height get the same defense get the same quick drops off one get all almost just as much hall of fame playmaking badges and have hall of fame shooting with a better three-pointer so people are going to make playmaking shot creators no matter what we already know that but differentiating a pure point forward from other builds by giving them dribble moves that are unique pretty much to that build itself is going to add more variety to the game there's going to be actually a reason to make a point forward in the game and you cannot no longer make a tall playmaking shot creator because that build isn't going to get enough ball handle to get those elite moves you see what i'm saying it can only help out the variety of the game and now it seems like this year if you make a very short build playmaking shot creator you are going to get absolutely bullied it's not going to be able to barely get by like this year no you are going to get destroyed so you can't win it seems like this year if you make a play shot like you can't get the best of every single world is what i'm trying to say anyway mike went to twitter and he said a poll you guys want some signature dribble packages like curries to have even higher ball handle requirements and 72 percent of people voted yes so mike wing it's okay buddy it's okay anyway then he replied to that and said the people have spoken amending this tweet going to push some six up to 90 plus and then i replied and said mike bud it's okay to say you've seen my tweets. Let's be friends, because come on, let's be honest. Have you guys heard anyone else say that? I literally have talked about that a few times this year, and I don't think I've seen anyone else talk about that. It's okay, Mike. I know you see my tweets. He's not been responding to any creators at all, which it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? But come on, Mike, we, we know what you did, buddy. Anyway, he said the highest ball handle requirement will be 92 for Curry and Trey's Sigs. Some other players were pulled up to 90, also Dame, Kyrie, and others. So that is going to once again 
further differentiate some builds, add more variety to the game. If you want those packages, well, you're going to have to lose out on some attributes in other categories or lose out on some badges to get up more ball handling. Even though it's only like six points, a lot of builds aren't able to get the 90 ball handle, the 92 ball handle. So this is a great idea from Mike. And just in another way to explain it for you guys, if you make almost any build this year, right? A lot of them can get an 86 ball handle. So they can get the Trey Young super fast glitchy moves. You know what I'm saying? So for the people that complain about people over dribbling and all that, they do it on a lot of builds. You know what I'm saying? It's not just play shots. For example, the two-way playmaker is able to be tall, have Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame playmaking, still be able to shoot consistently if you know what you're doing and get the very good dunks. Now, from what we're seeing, you're not able to get that super fast Trey Young, depending on how tall you make that build. You see what I'm saying so it just adds more variety and it's not just for playmaking shot creators now just because i think this is a hundred percent super good for the game as long as it's done correctly i want to make sure you guys get what i'm trying to say this guy commented on my tweet and said everybody's gonna use a play shot this year if he ups to 6 to 90 plus i said bro it's been 86 plus for three years and everyone has been a play shot still that has nothing to do with it it's all about balance he said yeah i know but now for sure everyone's gonna use it because 2k is gonna most likely put the best moves to a 90 and everyone is gonna want to use it what do you think i said for competitive fives or threes the meta will most likely be a play shot no matter what like i've been telling you guys builds for years have been able to dribble just fine under 86 ball handle otherwise widening the gap of moves you can unlock to high ratings should only further variety if done right so people are going to make a play making shot creator no matter what it's going to be the meta a high dribbling and shooting build is going to be meta for threes and fives but us park players right most of us 99 percent of the people watching this video are going to benefit from that because not every build is going to have the fastest dribble moves in the game if that is correct but for years now and like i've been telling you guys there is plenty of builds like the build that i went on a 108 game win streak this year does not have an 85 ball handle it has an 82 you can make it work with under an 85 ball handle you don't even need to have the elite moves this year so why would you need the elite moves next year you see what i'm saying so i just wanted to fully get that out there for you guys if i explained it too much i'm sorry but i wanted to make sure you guys really got what i was saying but anyway in 2k's jordan challenge article a lot of people including myself were like wait a second what is going on here what is happening right here because on the article it says talking about the rewards that you're able to get through the city and the neighborhood in a jordan unc jersey there will only be one place to get it so i was like and the neighborhood no way right because you know the cruise ship right we, the cruise ship is coming back it says that in the article and i was like what I don't understand i said this after i uploaded the video yesterday did i just really go right by that and then some people told me and filled me in yes it does say the neighborhood but if someone is appearing online on 2k22 on current gen it says they are in the neighborhood so the neighborhood is really just the cruise ship you see what i'm saying so mike wing is dropping a whole bunch of information i'm sure there's going to be some huge stuff like we just got today coming out again soon you guys know where to get this information it's going to be right here on this channel at the click of one button or tap of one button so if you have on notifications you don't got to go look through facebook and twitter and instagram you can literally click one button to get it all and it's going to be right here and once again it's always legitimate news mike wang baluba is literally the gameplay director of the game he is verified on twitter it says verified twitter it's all real important 2k23 news so anyway of course things can change like we seen in the last video where the czar one of the other 2k developers was saying that things can change but what i'm still confused about is how they said in one article which came out like two weeks ago which of course mike wing helped make that article about the gameplay that the defense is going to be able to speed boost with these adrenaline boosts and i was like you know this could be amazing for the game and then three days ago the czar says it's only for looks on defense you're not actually able to use the adrenaline boost so i'm just really confused about that because the information isn't adding up in the video he said yeah it might not make it into the game but they said before that that it was able to speed so i don't know i am very confused by that for sure but i do think that 2k23 besides the blow buys which is a whole issue we have to talk about right now is looking like a pretty good game gameplay wise with the new jump shot system dribble moves badges all that brand new that we haven't had in a long time so it's good that 2k is innovating but of course 
all that can look fancy and then the game comes out and can be trash so we just have to see when the game comes out itself but let's talk about the defensive stuff that we went over yesterday so i wanted to recap it but by the time i was done saying everything we were like 11 minutes into the video and i didn't even get to really talk about my opinion on it at all and it kind of seems like in my opinion from what i've read 2k is trying to do like an advanced 2k 18 defensive system which is scary because as you guys know 2k 18 snatchbacks blow buys i mean the game was literally ruined by that so it seems like they're trying to go with a 2k 18 approach where you know the czar said if you are a bigger build you're not going around people you're going through them pretty much over the shoulder which is pretty much a blow buy so if done right you know strength should matter for sure i'm not saying that strength should not matter but you know if done wrong it could be really bad it could be for sure as you all know i love the slashing i never just make a playmaking shot creator and that's it i have a two-way slasher that i call my most efficient build in the game for winning especially on the twos because it's so nasty with how broken paint defense is this year and as long as you know how to shoot a tiny bit crazy so if they make it even better whew, man slashing is going to be by far the meta on at least twos next year which isn't necessarily a bad thing you know if you make a small plane making shot creator to get those elite moves you're not only not getting those quick drops anymore but it seems like you're really going to get bullied like you could make a plane making shot creator with nine or ten defensive badges this year and you could clamp some people up you know not everybody but you definitely could clamp some people up now this year it seems like if you really go that far to have that meta build as a park player not competitive of course because like i told you guys competitive is just going to be a play shot no matter what you're going to be paying a lot of prices in other areas so it's kind of it's going to be good i think this is we're going in a good direction and of course we still have to see the gameplay and there might be another dunk that's like the quick drops that you unlock way too low in the driving dunk so we still have a lot to see but it's looking good click one of these two videos make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new the only thing that i'm worried about from the information we have so far is the blow by stuff so hopefully it's not too broken and you have to make a lockdown to be able to stop some people you know but you should need a lockdown to stop some people you see what i'm saying anyway just make a balanced game 2k that's what we want click one of these two videos and i'm out peace